We're going to machine all of the holes and profiles in this complex 3D model. I'm going to start with hole recognition. And you'll notice that some of the holes are linked together. That means they share the same diameter. Next I'm going to run dye profile recognition. Your paths are presented to you in the color red. Now all curves require a start and end for the wire. So we're going to go to automation, auto start for all curves. We're going to select the die. We'll machine in a clockwise direction and our start and end distance will leave at 1.5. You can see for the profiles we start 1.5 off the wall and our holes start in the center. Now if I want to pre-machine those holes we can go to automation output start and end locations. This gives us a g-code file with the x and y coordinates. Now we're going to machining new die. For our strategy we're going to main cut cut off, and then finish cut. A group of operations can be broken down into singular. Our die type, you can see we have a number of them to choose from. We're going to use die 1, it's a straight wall. The thickness is 101 millimeters. Our stop length, let's go with 0.5. Visit our technology table. You have your feed, your water, comp register, and comp value, and the wire size. Now we're going to select all of our curves on the screen. Just put a window around your part. We'll verify. And a 3D preview.